So today in Teardown, we have a lot of awesome mods. I do some things that are morally questionable. And stay tuned until the end because we do something ridiculous with police cars. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right, here we are in my favorite plane. And you know what? This Karen has taken my seat. I like this seat and I like that seat too because it's got a nice view of the window. You know what? Here, take, the oh geez. Okay, that went off a little too close. Oh geez, oh geez. It's totally not a shrapnel grenade. Oh. Um, that did not depressurize the cabin like I thought it was going to. It did depressurize the Karens, though. Okay, so what I'm going to toss a couple of these. Okay, this is going to be a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to get my seat. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, look at that. But yeah, I downloaded the... Oh, <laughs> this never gets old. Yeah, I downloaded a shrapnel grenade. This is actually the non-incinerary version of it. The original one is the incinerary version. I didn't want to light the plane on fire. I really just wanted my seat. Um, well, my seat might be gone, but look, we got a new uh, kind of window seat or window viewing platform. This was probably a really bad idea, wasn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm not a big fan of Michael Bay and Michael Bay movies, but one thing Michael Bay does get right, it's explosions. So we have the Michael, well, we'll call it the Bay Bomb. I guess we can't call it the Michael Bay Bomb for reasons. And yeah, we just plant, oh no. Uh, yeah, it's something where when it goes off, it just continuously explodes and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't even have to detonate it that time. Hold on, let's detonate one up here. Dunk it up and then, oh, there it is. <laughs> Explosions for days. Have we done a lot of damage in here? Hold on, let's chunk a couple more in here. Uh, let's plant one. We have some, uh, options here. Uh, explosion power. Uh, let's go ahead and make that max. This is just amazing. Let's just set everything to max and break the game here. All right, time for the never-ending explosion. Let's toss one of these in there and boom. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> that was the equivalent of setting off a nuke. Oh, I just watched the plane disappear. What happened? the screen's going black. I think the explosion's still going on. It's just that extreme and that Michael Bay that, yeah, it just respawned me here. So we really didn't get to use either one of those things the way I wanted to use them. I mean, sure, we were in a plane and it looked epic, but we need to see the true effects of it. So we have a shrapnel grenade. So say, I don't know, this is like a little store here. Uh, let's go ahead and open. Wait, is that radioactive? Am I hearing that right? Oh, well, I mean, it's safe to set a couple of... Oh, geez, I can't get out of the door. No, no! <laughs> so, yeah, the shrapnel grenade actually sends off a lot of little pieces here. I like the non-incinerary version. That way you can just kind of see the stuff, like, fly through the sky and go into the buildings and cars. Like, that's crazy. There's pieces flying everywhere, and they're just going into all the surrounding areas. Yeah, look, it doesn't necessarily explode like a huge area, but it just actually sends these little particles, like, through the building... Like, they went through this shop. They went all through the, throughout this car. This is really cool. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and try the uh, one that sets everything on fire. So let's go yoink. Chuck a couple of those in there. All right, set them off. Wait for it. Oh, yes. Oh, geez, we got hit. Oh, we got peppered out here. That's crazy how far those little pieces go. Yep, we've set off uh, a fire in the store. Hold on, I got this. I am a good Samaritan. I got this. Okay, the whole store is on fire. We should probably just Michael Bay this thing. Okay, we're going to plant it here in the middle of the store. I don't know why it looks like that. All right, here we go. Stand back. Boom. We got a really big freeze. That's not a good sign. And, oh, look at that. It's beautiful. I like the blue explosion. Oh, and the shockwave. We moved some cars. So yeah, it's not like an overpowered nuke, but it's probably one of the most epic explosions ever. And the way you can manipulate the particles and change the effects on it, man, it is absolutely beautiful. That would bring a tear to Michael Bay's eye. So do you guys want a smoothie? Uh, we've got a huge blender here in Teardown. Will it blend? Wow, this is one of those things where it's like, I knew it existed, I just haven't played with it. And I was like, you know what? I feel like blending stuff, like grenades and cars and people. Okay, so it's going. Let's do the basics. All right, we're going to make a smoothie. We're going to put, I don't know, it's like an apple in there. Uh, okay, it's blending up the apple. Um, we've got an orange. Let's go and stick the orange in there. Yeah, what do you like in your smoothie? Uh, comment down below. All right. 
right, well, we need some added protein for this bad boy. What do you guys say we uh, blend a couple extra things here? I have a giant spawnable melon. When did I download this? Oh, wait a minute, dude. I think a melon smoothie, oh, okay. You are gonna fit in my blender, dang it. I want some watermelon with my smoothie. As long as we don't break the actual, oh, we might've put a hole in the blender. Ah, it's fine, it's still blending, wow. I think some of it got in there. I like how one of the things is the RMS Titanic. I don't think I want to, well, hold on. Do I want to see if it'll blend? This is a mistake. I shouldn't spawn this. In. Oh my. Okay. Um. Well, let's just drop it from here. We'll get the midsection of the Titanic in the blender. Uh, oh, that was a terrible idea, but that actually worked. Look at that. Dude, it went right through the blender. Like, how the heck is that even a thing? Like, you're asking, will it blend? Well, you know what? The Titanic will blend. You know, I feel like I should like blend Huggy Wuggy or something because you know, the YouTube algorithm's gonna be like, ooh, Huggy Wuggy, we like that. I mean, it was pretty cool seeing the Titanic go in there. Uh, we got SCP. Oh, these are actual uh, uh, characters that have Some goodies in them. Do you guys want a heart? I mean, I just tossed that. Oh, I missed the blender and it just smeared all over the ground. I think we broke the blender. I feel like we should reset it and just fill it full of ragdoll people that are full of like juicy innards and then click the button. What do you guys say? You know, I forgot these ragdolls actually like show some emotion. So when it hits, oh, it's like it hurt. Okay. We had to do just a ton of these. If I hold shift down, I think I can spawn in like impotent. There we go. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, that one exploded down there. Oh, and maybe we should lower them a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, some of them are breaking open. Wow, YouTube might demonetize me for this. Well, I think I've done worse on this channel, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, get down in there. I need some fiber. Can we fill this? At what point does it lag so much? Oh, this is gonna be gross. All right, my frame rate's at a crawl. I filled it about, I would say, maybe an eighth ways up. Um... Yeah, this is gonna get really messy. All right, here we go. It is lagging so bad. Uh, will it blend? Uh, oh, uh, did I break it? Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, the sound. Yep, we have made a people uh, soup or people smoothie. I mean, it depends on how long you blend it for. If you leave the chunks in there, I think it's more of a soup. Uh, we smooth it out. We're gonna make it a blendy uh, smoothie. Oh, I, I don't know if I can watch this anymore. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually really in love with this blender. One last thing I want to blend up are cars because I feel like that would be really, really cool. So we got Lamborghinis. Like how much does this cost to blend up this many Lamborghinis? Let's say base we're running, I don't know, maybe we'll go 350,000. Okay, that's not too bad. So yeah, we've got our uh, Lamborghinis. It actually looks like Christmas in here. All right, here we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, the vehicles actually shoot all the pieces out the side. They are not near as satisfying as those either solid objects or the rag dolls or the, the Titanic because that was a thing too. But you know what? That was pretty cool. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so we're at this stunning apartment block and I've got a new mod called the Exosuit, which it's a suit that I guess you climb into it? Oh, we're in the exosuit. The suit is on right now. Well, the exosuit's really neat though, because it gives your character enhanced uh, abilities like the super jump. You can see I can charge it here and I can go, wee! Dude, we can totally climb this uh, apartment complex by doing this. Hold on, I might just bonk my head. Oh, okay, so you can bonk your head through this. Dude, that is totally awesome. So if you hit control, you'll accelerate downward. So if I hit control from here, yeah, you get like a super jump down. Oh, that kind of hurt. Also, you can click, I think it's X to eject. And then there is like a charge run. Oh, okay, there it goes. Dude, that sounds so cool. Hold on, can I run through the building? Okay, I just ran into the building. Well, actually it does damage. You know, if that wasn't a solid foundation, I think we could run through this thing. Hold on, let's start at the front. Dude, this is cool. Hold on, let's launch ourselves up the stairs. Ready, boom. Oh, I like the idea of this. This is much funner than just using like the fly mode. Oh no, you're in trouble in there. Hold on, let me run through your... What? I like this. I'm like a superhero or something. Oh, let's go, boom. Launch through <laughs> through some, uh, some of the floors here. 
You know, it's something I've always wondered about, like, Superman when he, like, launches through a building to save somebody. Does he, like, kill 20 other people as he does it? Like, I feel like that's a thing. All right, we're going to make our way to the top, and then I'm going to do the downwards thrust and see if we can break through the whole building. I feel like that might actually be a thing. There we go. All right, so we're going to jump up, and I'm going to do the downward uh, thrust down. Oh, that was cool. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, so you don't quite crash through like I thought you would with that downwards thrust. I like this. This is a really cool mod. Okay, here we are with our next mod. This is called Highway Bridge. Uh, anybody that's watched my channel for a little bit, doesn't this kind of look like the Matrix Highway from Beam and G Drive? Like, I think that's totally what this is. So, we're not just checking out this uh, rather empty highway. We're actually going to be using a mod here. So, we've got basically a full-blown police chase mode here in teardown and the way we actually do this is go to the spawn you can see down here is this azc enable chase and we're going to use that here in a second so when we go to spawn there should be some azc base vehicles these are actually separate uh mods and then yeah these are chase vehicles so we can go classic police highway police and check this out we have police cars so i can hold shift here all right we're gonna hop into here and yeah, all those cop cars, we can make them chase us. I don't know if this is going to be exactly the greatest map for it. We might go to like one of the dynamic bridges or something, which would be epic. But yeah, all I got to do is go enable chase. And look at that. We have the police force after us. I mean, we're in a Lamborghini. And we're like way faster than them. Also, they are crashing back there. Uh, that's a thing. Hold on. Let's go around. Oh, is this as big as the map is? Uh oh, all right. Go around to this side. Oh, no. The cops are coming on. Go between them. Whoa. Oh, he turned into me. I wonder how many cops we can actually spawn in. This is pretty cool, huh? Let's change the uh, weather real quick. That gives you guys a really clear view of them. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. Actually, I think I like the rain effect better. It made the uh, light show up quite a bit better. So I can think of a couple maps that I actually want to use this on. I want to use this on a bridge that if we damage it enough, we're gonna have some sort of epic bridge collapse okay so we are on bridge construction 3.0 i'm gonna see how many of these cop cars i can spawn on here uh, before it gets too laggy how many of these cars can we spawn in i, I want to go for like 50 but i mean if we oh what was that uh one slightly just went through oh uh there's a lot of weight here folks okay i need to add more okay so if you look all the way down here i have about a hundred police cars spawned in like they're all the way to the end of the bridge over there you can see there's pieces falling down right now so if i sit here at this end and i tell them to pursue me i don't think i have to be in a oh why is it shaking now okay there's a chance we are about to lose the bridge i better start this three two one go uh oh oh they're driving why is it collapsing the bridge wait i think they're starting to fall through Oh, they're actually collapsing it right now. Dude, look at the pieces coming through. Holy man. Oh, there goes a big chunk. There's cop cars just going all off into the water. This is awesome. Uh, look at the holes that they have created here. Um, yeah, I don't think the police can do their job here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to be a fugitive on the run here. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in cop cars pretty much all over. I think I might have destroyed that one all over the map. And we're going to have to take off running. I'm assuming I could probably say I could use the buildings for cover. Uh, I do think the cop cars might drive into the buildings, which is going to be kind of mental, uh, but awesome at the same time. So I'll spawn in all these. I'm going to set the mood lighting. And we're gonna be a fugitive on the run. All right, it is rainy night. Hold on, let's get our flashlight out. We gotta take off running. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh. Oh yeah, they're coming down the road. Oh, uh oh. Dude, they are really coming. Oh, he just missed his turn. Uh maybe it's because it's wet. Okay, we gotta get through here real quick. Run, 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 run. Uh oh, I can hear the sirens. Are they getting close? Uh oh yeah, they're turning. Okay uh how do we get away from the cops here i'll go through here oh i can see sirens down the street over here uh what are they doing oh that's a flare hey what is that okay so for some reason it gets really laggy when i spawn the cops in here maybe it's the rain effects hold on let's change the weather back to just like night to see if we can get some frame rate back it is really odd uh the cop cars take off to you uh but i kind of figured out like as soon as they come after you they do like to drive like straight into walls 
so you either need to have like a wide open map uh, like a highway or something uh, I don't think this is helping it yeah this is absolutely laggy um, it's frightening especially once we initially took off uh, that cleared it up a little bit yeah there's definitely something wrong it might be all the cop cars plowing into buildings and slowly breaking them down that's causing this but it was worth a try it's really cool to see a police chase mod here in teardown you guys should check it out we'll see you guys next time